All right. Um, let's talk about correct piston and connecting rod orientation on these little Buick motors. As you can see, there's a dot on the piston, um, the dot and the piston, and then there's two dots on the rods. The rods are offset, fat side, skinny side, and then you have the other one. So these guys are actually opposites. Uh, my dot here is facing towards the towel. My dot here is facing towards me. Notice that I have no dots there. Uh, also notice a chamfer on the bottom of a connecting rod cap. Okay, so when we put them in the engine, obviously the dot always goes to the front of the engine. Um, the two dots on the rod, on one, three, and five, which there they are, focus, will face the back of the motor. The chamfer will face the front of the motor on the rod cap. Uh, and on the opposing side, which would be the right side, the dot will face the front of the motor. The dots on the rod will face the front of the motor. And then the chamfer will face the back of the motor. So you, you really got to be out in left field here to put these rods and pistons in backwards. Um, but it's not really talked about. Uh, but you can see the offset on number four. The offset is towards the front of the block because this is an off-center motor. See the rod? It's to help put the rod more in the center of the piston, but at the end of the day, these are still an off-center motor. And if you look down there at number five, you can see the offset is towards the back of the motor, where it's trying to put the, the rod in the center of the piston, which is still, it's still offset quite a bit. So, there you go. That is some uh, information on making sure you put the pistons and the rods incorrectly. Aftermarket rods are not marked, but aftermarket pistons most are marked but that's another video and i think i've already covered that so here you go